Hi there, Cancer. So I'm going to be doing your reading right now, and I'd like to make a note that I do offer personal readings. So if you're interested, please check out the description box below. If you do plan on subscribing, please make sure to hit the notification button. That way you'll get notified whenever I post my videos. And if this reading resonates, please make sure to hit the like button. So I'm going to be doing past, present, and future, and I'm going to be pulling out oracle cards at the end. Okay, Cancer? So let's get started. Can I get the past energy for Cancer, please? The past energy for Cancer. Past energy for cancer. 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 All right. So the past energy for Cancer, please. Oh boy, the Four of Cups. The Five of Cups in reverse. With the Ten of Cups, that's a lot of water. So you could be dealing with a water sign like yourself. Could it be how you're feeling? And look at that, it's like the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. You could be dealing with any of the fixed signs, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, or Aquarius. The Fool. Hmm. And the Four of Wands in reverse. And the Future Energy for Cancer. The Five of Swords. Look at that, the Ten of Wands in reverse. And the hangman in reverse. And the overall energy for the reading. The queen of wands. So you're showing up as the queen of wands. You're someone that's very charming, attractive, charismatic, confident. There could be resistance, okay, on your side as well. But when I clarify, I'll get a better understanding of what's going on here. It just seems like there is someone that's disappointed. It could be you or the person that you're dealing with. I feel like this person staring at this cup with longing, okay, at this connection, but they're not taking it or they're not taking action towards it. And I feel like um, there was a potential for happiness here with the Ten of Cups. So maybe this is even you like taking yourself out of a, a difficult situation or getting over a loss, okay? Wanting to focus on your own wish fulfillment and happiness here. Specifically, if you were disappointed. I feel like there was a potential for a brand new beginning, though, with the, pr the present energy. But something did not take a turn for the positive. And I don't see stability here with the Four of Wands in reverse. So, I feel like the both of you are not together in the 3D. And when I look at the future energy, there could be conflict. Okay? Uh, even self-sabotage. I really feel like there's something unresolved though with the Ten of Wands in reverse. However, I feel like there's someone that's having to gain some sort of enlightenment here or some sort of awareness. So I feel like this conflict is present because there's something unresolved with the Ten of Wands in reverse. Okay, so let's clarify. Let me clarify the Queen of Wands for Cancer, please. Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands. Okay. Clarifying the Queen of Wands for Cancer, please. The Six of Wands in reverse. So I don't see a reconciliation. So it's like the Six of Wands in reverse with the Four of Wands in reverse, which equals the Ten of Wands in reverse. There is something unresolved. I feel like you are trying to avoid conflict with the Five of Swords in reverse, okay? That's why I don't see a reconciliation. 
And you could very well be protective over your heart space or protective over your energy with the Four of Pentacles. This is quite interesting. One more card. And there you go, the Seven of Cups. I feel like you could be looking at your options or just... Um, like there could be confusion here. I feel like there is someone that's thinking about you. There's heavy contemplation, but yet there's confusion with the Seven of Cups. So I feel like you may very well be protective over your heart space with the Four of Pentacles. This could even be someone that's holding on to you as well with the Four of Pentacles, okay? So it's like the Four of Pentacles and the Four of Cups. Clarifying the Four of Cups for the past energy for Cancer, please. The Seven of Wands in reverse, okay. Strength, interesting. But Justice in reverse. So you could share a strong bond with this person, but the Seven of Wands in reverse with Justice in reverse is someone that's not really putting in effort to make things right or to balance things out here. So let me clarify, there you go, the Empress in reverse. So there could very well be uncertainty or someone could be dealing with insecurities. There you go, the Five of Cups. There's someone that's feeling the loss of this connection. They're feeling sad, remorse. The Six of Cups. One more card. There could be insecurities that stem from the past or someone's feeling remorse towards the past as well. The Five of Cups and the Six of Cups. And there you go, the Four of Cups in reverse. That's a lot of water. So I feel like there's a lot of emotions involved with this. I feel like there is an acknowledgement of a connection here. But someone didn't put the effort towards making things right. So let me clarify the Ten of Cups. There you go, the King of Pentacles in reverse. So I don't see stability. And I feel like something didn't pan out with the Three of Pentacles in reverse. And there you go, the Eight of Pentacles. So I really feel like there is someone that's thinking about you. There's heavy contemplation. But I feel like the both of you are not together in the 3D. It's like having difficulty reaching a compromise or just working things out. Okay, so let me clarify the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. The Eight of Wands in reverse with the Ten of Pentacles. So I, I do see like a potential for stability, wish fulfillment. But um, I feel like a lot of time went by with the Three of Wands in reverse, the Eight of Wands in reverse, and the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. There was an indecision, okay? Things didn't move quickly enough. That's why I see the, the Fool, like a potential for a brand new beginning, but the Four of Wands is showing up in reverse. Let me clarify the Fool. The Three of Swords, and that's why there's pain. And the Fool again. Oh my God, that's amazing. So, the Star in reverse. Someone's having trouble healing um, from the pain of this disconnect. Okay, so they could be feeling the loss of this connection. Okay. 
I feel like things haven't been healed within this dynamic, specifically if there's conflict. So let me clarify the Four of Wands in reverse. This could even be someone that's having to heal something within their heart space. So let me clarify, and there we go, the Chariot in reverse. So there's indecision. So the Chariot is someone that makes a choice and moves forward with determination, but there's confusion. And I don't see them rushing in or taking action with the Knight of Wands in reverse, okay? And there you go, the Nine of Swords in reverse with the Two of Cups in reverse. So this is someone that's having to possibly get out of their headspace in order to move forward. Okay? So the Seven of Cups is like, could be talking about like fantasizing, dreaming, or someone having to let go of any sort of illusions. So let me clarify the Five of Swords. The Tower. So this connection has gone through major changes or even a major shakeup. Four of Swords and the Five of Swords. So there is someone that's been hit with a Tower moment of realization. They are thinking about you though with the Four of Swords. There is heavy contemplation. Okay. And no way. That's crazy. That's like the Five of Swords, the Four of Swords, and the Eight of Swords. There's someone that's really thinking about you. Um... A lot of overthinking. That's why there's conflict. There's someone that's stuck on something as well with the Eight of Swords. Let me get another card. There could even be fear based thoughts or the Magician. I feel like things didn't take a turn for the positive because um, it's like this conflict was created with the magician. It's like the tower, the four of swords and the eight of swords. So instead of manifesting positive change, it, it just created conflict. So let me clarify the ten of wands in reverse. There you go. There's something unresolved here, but I don't see someone taking action. The King of Cups in reverse, like the Devil in reverse. So let me get another card. There's someone that's not really taking action towards expressing how they feel, but they're not detaching or moving forward with the Six of Swords in reverse. Or they're, they're stuck on something. There's something unresolved here. So let me clarify the hangman in reverse. There you go. That's why the ace of cups is showing up in reverse. With the hangman. There's someone that's having to gain some sort of awareness here. Or enlightenment on this situation. Okay. So I don't see a brand new beginning in love here with the Ace of Cups in reverse and the Four of Wands in reverse. So I feel like there could have been major changes within this dynamic. Like, it's really talking about like creating conflict. But like from the place of the mind, it's so interesting. It's like heavy overthinking. So let me get further insight from the intimate tarot. It's like someone having to let go of any sort of illusions. So I feel like this connection has gone through a major shakeup. could even be you like wanting to um, move away from anything that could be un unhealthy there you go there's passion here with the knight of wands okay 
the high priestess i really feel like you're listening to your intuition so this could even be you like having a sense of enlightenment and clarity the five of pentacles someone could be feeling like they've been left out in the cold or someone could have a fear of rejection the ten of pentacles again like the potential for stability wish fulfillment so you're showing up as the empress so you're very loving very nurturing and very beautiful but there could be pain here with the ten of swords okay and death so there could have been an ending as well okay and the king of pentacles so it seems like there was potential but there's still issues at hand here given the fact that i see conflict okay messages from the oracle deck for cancer please have faith trust your faith in the situation so someone has to have faith in order for this to work okay right now there seems like there's a lot of overthinking okay one more from this It's like love endures love does not give up or lose faith interesting they're both related love is hopeful and withstands every situation that's why the star card is showing up in reverse so there could be a loss of hope because there's pain there's conflict okay so let me get further insight from the romance angel Deck for Cancer, please. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. So there has to be healing, reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Okay. So this could be even someone from the past. Uh, retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. Maybe healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents and calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. So there's a lot of emphasis on forgiving, healing from the past possibly. Okay. Um, so that's my reading for you, Cancer, and I'll see you next time. Take care now.